So you're looking to trigger simple Niagara and Cascade effects inside of Unreal Engine with Ableton Live using MIDI data, but aren't sure where to start? No worries, it's much easier than you'd think, and today I'm going to show you how I set up my blueprints for the reactive visualizers I've been building. But first, some prerequisites in order to get things started. The first thing needed in order to begin are some blueprint templates supplied by the Sem and Tris AV Club. They've already gone through the headache of getting some custom blueprints up and running, along with some Macs for Live devices that convert MIDI data into OSC data for Unreal via your computer's port and IP address. Secondly, for demonstration purposes, I'll be using the free Realistic VFX Pack Volume 2 from the Epic Marketplace. Now that you have all the necessary variables, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is drop the rotor blueprint into the desired scene. This allows us to hook up our Niagara effect so it's able to parse, then utilize the relevant information being provided by Ableton Live. Once that rotor is in place, we can finally get started on setting up our blueprint, which is meant to be triggered by the incoming MIDI data. To get started, we'll pick the all-in-one template. Once inside, we can delete everything with the exception of the group at the bottom. You could also use the above template example, but that version allows you to control what is triggered on a note-by-note -note basis, as opposed to the entire MIDI track. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to choose the easier option that will fire off the effect regardless of the MIDI note used. But first we need to make sure whatever option is chosen is making use of the on MIDI note node and not the custom event node. Since both template examples revolve around the MIDI note triggers, only one on MIDI note node can exist at a time. Thus, the custom event node is actually a placeholder and will not actually trigger anything. So once we replace that and get it plugged in correctly, we're good to go. So to begin, we'll add a Niagara Particle System Component, or Cascade Particle System Component, in our Components tab on the left side of the screen. This will give an easy way to swap out the effects later on as you continue building more blueprints. Once that's been added, we can drag the Niagara Component into the blueprint, then add a Spawn System at Location node. From here we'll connect the Niagara node to the system template input. But first, a Get Niagara System Asset node must be created in order to plug the Niagara object into the Spawn System at Location node. From here, in order to ensure the effect fires off every time a MIDI note is received, we need to open up the Niagara effect and ensure that under the System Update tab, we set the loop behavior to once and the amount to zero. Setting up the effect like this allows us to fire off multiple triggers in succession as opposed to waiting for the effect to finish playing out before it's possible to trigger again. So with all that set up, the effect should now finally fire off when sending in MIDI data to Unreal. But that's not everything, as there's still a few more variables to add in order to gain maximum flexibility. Now we'll pull off the location input and type in Get Actor Location. This allows us to freely move the blueprint around and not always have the default location always spawning at the center of the scene. Now on the left panel labeled Variables, click the plus sign and add two new variables. Name them Scale and Rotation. The Scale variable should be changed to a Vector and the Rotation variable should be changed to a Rotator. Changing these variables allows us to plug in the objects into the appropriate inputs on the Spawn System at Location node. Then finally, click the eye icons for both the scale and rotation variables. This allows for the variables to be public and editable on each instance of the blueprint. After all of that is set up, drag in both the scale and rotation variables and select Get Scale and Get Rotation. Once these variables are in the blueprint, plug them into the corresponding Spawn System at Location inputs. To finish things off, we'll then click on the Scale node and set the default value to 1 as opposed to 0. Then click on the rotation node and set the default rotation values to 0 so nothing initially spawns in at irregular angles. With all of that set up now, everything should be good to go. Just make sure the correct MIDI channel is selected in both Unreal and Ableton once hooked up to the rotor. Then, hit play on your Ableton session, and then finally hit play on Unreal while in selected viewport mode, so you can finally enjoy some real-time synchronized Niagara effects. If you wish to use a cascaded effect of instead of a Niagara effect, 
all you have to do is swap out the spawn system at location node with a spawn emitter at location node. Add a new cascade particle system component under the components tab, then drag that new cascade variable into the blueprint and connect it to the spawn emitter at location node with a git template node in between so it can use the cascade component. From there, just plug everything back in like the Niagara example, and then you're good to go with both Niagara effects and cascade effects. In my next video, I'll walk you through how to expand upon this further with a random point and bounding box for some handy randomized location fun. If anyone has any questions or ideas for future videos they'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment and consider subscribing. Thanks!